Hey, what's going on everybody? Sean and Tara here with Harris TV and uh, we are at our destination. Now we actually had, uh, how many we got love? Three or four? Three or four what? Winners. Oh, I think it was four. Okay, I think we got four winners. We're going to announce it, uh, telling where we are this time. So as usual, you know, I uh, always take uh, and kidnap Tara for our anniversary in particular. So I'm going to kind of give you guys a quick tour of the room and then we're going to disclose where we're at. Alrighty. Well, this is our suite. <laughs> Tara's waving at you through the shower. I think this is going to be Tara's hangout spot right here. Which is the fully stocked. She's saying she's scared of the mini bar. <laughs> but anyway, that's a little bit of the room over there. Y'all excuse the noise. Now, this little feature Tara really likes. Yes. Hey, what's going on, Michael? This is the feature she really likes because she said she wants to do peekaboo in the shower. I know that was a little TMI. <laughs> And say hi to everybody, love. Hello, everyone. And outside the room, we got a little tubby tub. So we'll hang out here tonight. Maybe we should give uh, anybody that's live an opportunity before we say where we are. But let's... Uh, Just put it on the TV screen to tell us what we're no, we can't tell them yet. Why the suspense? Okay. Okay, where's our winners? Give me give me the winners. The winners are... Hold on. Let me switch this over. All right. I... Should we tell them where we are first or tell them who the winners are? Who the winners are. Okay, go ahead with the winners. Leticia Jordan. Le Diane Bella. Bellstero. Okay. Mark Hubert. Mm-hmm. And Zayna Martin. All right. So mm -hmm. all four of you guys are winners. So if you will uh, inbox me your email and I get that uh, free ebook Econ uh, Power downloaded to you guys. That's not the book, honey. Which book was it? I, I mean, I do have like twenty-seven. <laughs> how to make five k in thirty days? Oh, how to make five k in thirty days? I'll uh, get that book over to you. So <laughs> the, the wrong punch getting to me already. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll get that book over to you guys, and uh, we appreciate all you guys for uh, participating. So again, welcome to Harris TV. Uh, we typically uh, go live at 7 o'clock on Wednesdays. However, we want to go live today on Thursday from this location. So tell them where we're at. We're in beautiful Barbados. Barbados. <laughs> so guys, we are having a good time uh, celebrating the anniversary. And uh, we don't have children this trip. No, and there's not even children allowed at this resort. So. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Well, how, how did you want to start off this show? It's going to be a little quick show because uh, we've been traveling kind of all day uh, mm -hmm. with a couple layovers, so we are hungry <laughs> and a little sleepy. We want to get in the pool. Hey, Cecilia, how you doing? That's our Grenada friend. Yeah, she's from the <laughs> islands. Okay, so since it's our anniversary, uh -huh. our anniversary is until the 22nd, but we're celebrating early because sometimes your schedule just don't work out. Yeah, <laughs> the kids gotta go back to school. Early. Yes, and so this is the weekend that worked out for us. So yeah. we're celebrating early. Yep. So in light of our anniversary, we're gonna do some rapid fire questions, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna do some questions that are a little more deeper. Got it. So you wanna go first, or should I go first? I'll go first. Mm -hmm. So what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to ask a question mm -hmm. about me. And I'm that supposed you're to, supposed to answer. I'm supposed to know the answer. All right, and it's rapid fire. So <laughs> as soon as I ask the question, you got to answer the question real quick. Hey, Dr. Will, how you doing? <laughs> and thank you, thank you. Thank you for the happy thank anniversary you, wish. Dr. Will. Okay, here we go. I got five questions. You probably got like ten for me. But I got five you questions. You probably don't know any of the answers. I know all the answers. <laughs> okay, here's my rapid fire question. First one, who is my celebrity crush? Tony Braxton. I mean, your followers probably even know that. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite candy? M&M's. Okay. Is that right? That's close enough. <laughs> I got like two. It's M&M's and corn candy. I know a lot of oh, you guys yeah. don't like corn candy. I love corn candy. Uh, I like peanuts too. You remember the little orange, little marshmallow oh, peanuts? Oh, Circus like peanuts. Those. That's for old people. Okay. Now, <laughs> if I weren't an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. what career path was I most interested in? 
that you've already been in or that you just liked? Give me both. Which one that I already did and which one did I most desire to fulfill as a kid? I think you enjoy um, working on airplanes mm -hmm. most. Uh -huh. But as a kid, neuro, neuro neurologist, surgeon, uh -huh. right? Yep. Okay. Neurosurgeon and or slash dentist. That's like on two different things. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I just like dentistry. You know, I used to wear braces. I hated that. I but um, people, bro. but I love aircraft. And the, <laughs> the one thing I like about traveling uh, in Caribbean countries, in particular, a lot of times they deplane from the front and the back, so you get to walk on a tarmac. So, and I hadn't worked on planes in twenty. What did I say earlier? Is one like twenty five years was the last time I worked on a plane. But it's like riding a bicycle, and I just lo love being on the, the tarmac around planes. Uh, number four, what's oh, most in, what's most important to me? Family. That's right. <laughs> family, family. I think everybody know that one. Uh, what food will I, under no circumstances, eat? Liver. You got it. <laughs> I hate liver. Tell them um, your liver experience a few years ago. Oh, we went, <laughs> we we went, we went to... Um, DR. Yeah, went to the Dominican Republic two, year, two summers ago, two or three summers ago. It was three. And uh, they really don't speak nothing but Spanish there. Uh, where we were, so we were extremely hungry. We wanted to get off. Uh, I was gonna say off campus, well, off, <laughs> it's off the resort. We left the resort. We wanted to go explore the town, so we got hungry. And I saw what appeared to be steak and rice, which is one of my favorites. <laughs> so I said, "Give me that, and give me like extra steak." <laughs> so she just piled it on. She didn't know any English, so you know it's just kind of point. And uh, next thing you know, I sat down and took one bite, and I'm talking about I had a giant plate full of this stuff, and it was liver, liver and rice. Should've got but the chicken, mate. I know, you can never go wrong with chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your question for me, love? What's my favorite candy? Um, The little Chico stick thingy. Yes. Yeah. It it's hard to find those, but let me tell you where you they are. You gotta go okay? to the country stores. Family Dollar got the long ones. Uh-huh. That's the orange candy. The yeah, stick. QC okay. got the little ones, but the big ones are like, you gotta have big ones. So she's trying to tell me to go to the dollar store, guys. Yes, if you ever want to just be like, <laughs> I love you today. Like, right. I don't even need the flowers. Just bring me a Chico stick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shay, what's going on? That's my classmate, Shay. And Sheila. Monique, how you doing? Hey, Sheila. Yep, Sheila, okay. Sheila from Columbia High. Who is my celebrity crush? How many choices I get? One. Oh God! Oh, uh, this supposed to be rapid fire. Yeah. What's his name? Um, you know his name. I don't know his name, but I just pick one. Uh, Ely, pretty eyes. No. Um, Idris Elba. Oh, I know who you your number lost. one is. No, you I know. Lost. No, no, I, I remember that. I remember. <laughs> your crush is Barack Obama. Yes. Can I tell them about your dream? That's Bay. No. Okay. <laughs> she said she's dreamed about him three times. But Bae, anyway. I said no. Bay, this is a family show. What's my favorite color? Oh, snap. Um, yellow. I told y'all he was going to get these wrong. <laughs> I love you. I'm wearing it. That's what I said. Red. Whatever. It's like right next to yellow and a rainbow. You about to be in the doghouse and we just got <laughs> here. <laughs> Who is my closest friend right now? Like, if I wanted to talk... Rolanda. <laughs> Rolanda Davis. That's my sister. What is my favorite non-alcoholic drink? Like, I, I like to drink this all the time. Tea. Yes. Tea. What do I like in my tea? Uh, depends Every, on what day it is. Right? <laughs> Lemon. Uh, you tried some new stuff, y'all. She got yeah. a new tea that she created. Uh, her and Kaden like the tea gurus around the house. <laughs> They're like connoisseurs. But she actually opened a can of uh, pineapples. Can of pineapples was one, but peach. peach. So she oh, poured yeah. the oh, peach syrup know. into the, the tea, and it's actually pretty good. The pineapple was good too, though. Pineapple tea. Mm -hmm. And I tried cranberry. It was okay. Yeah. But the pineapple tea, y'all should try that. I like white Hennessy in mine. <laughs> I didn't make that tea then. <laughs> okay, one more. Okay. What's my favorite food? Uh, hot wings. Yes. You and Kaden. <laughs> cool. What, okay. What, what's that? You got another one? I have some deeper questions. Oh boy. <laughs> so, what's your favorite place that you have visited? I would say Thailand. Why? 
just the beauty, the different culture. Uh, There's a lot to do. We did so much there. We went to the, we saw the tigers, the monkeys, uh, elephants. elephants. We swam with the elephants in the sea. Thai boxing. Oh yeah, that was. Oh, fun. and Sean wanted a, a massage every day in Thailand. Oh, <laughs> well, let me tell him about the massage, man. Uh, you know, here in in Atlanta, I, I'm a member of Massage Envy. I've been a member for like a gazillion years, and I got like probably like thirty something credits. I, I just 30. don't go like I used to. Yeah, last time I called, I think it was like 23. But in Thailand, guys, you got a massage for six U.S. dollars. Yes. And it's like an and hour it's massage. It's an hour. And I'm talking about they literally walk on your back. This little girl, she put her foot in my back and pulled my arms and yes. just popping and cracking. And so I think we got two that day and we were trying to go get a third one. We or you? Me. Yeah, we tried to go get a third one until Sean walked up and the guy. And the oh, you, you're. <laughs> Let me tell them where we were first. <laughs> we, we went to a place called the Ping Pong District. <laughs> Let your imagination go wherever it want to go. But anyway, uh, from a distance, somebody was, uh, like a group of them outside, they was waving us over, like, come on over, uh, $6 uh, for massage. And as we started getting closer, um, for the guys, you know what it means if you see an Adam's apple. <laughs> so um, we quickly saw uh, growth stubble on the person's chin. So we didn't get that third massage, but Some Tyler got the best the massage himself. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was, that was a wrap. I was done. <laughs> I was done. Okay, yes. who else we got? Um, That was probably Wait, my favorite place, too. My screen wasn't scrolling. I'm missing all kind of messages. I was reading. Okay. So, oh, Dr. Will. Dr. Chico Will, you like Chico Six? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay, Thailand was probably my favorite place, too. Because, like you said, there was so much to do. Oh, Fifi um, Island Fifi was Island, nice. Fifi Island, yeah. yes. That's, like, the most beautiful water i ever yeah. seen. And you know what? A thing, too, and I want to address that, too. You know, so many times people are so scared to travel, especially with stuff going on in DR. If you really research the stuff going on in DR, a lot of that stuff has taken place over a period of time, some years, actually. I think one of the reports was even, like, three or four years ago. But, guys, I'm telling you, it's so many cool places around the globe. You know, I was in the Air Force, Terry was in the Navy, so we've traveled. We've seen firsthand um, the beauty of the world and, you know, the beauty of different cultures and so forth like that. So don't let stuff hold you back from enjoying life. Okay. okay. Next question. Where is a place that you want to go that you haven't been? But I'm going to answer first. <laughs> okay, you answer first. I want to go to a country in Africa. I haven't decided yet because it's like, I want to go to Egypt. You know, it's one of the seven wonders of the world. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I also want to go, you know, to like Ghana or Kenya or, mm -hmm. or somewhere like that. You know, where are people? <laughs> you know, I want to see. Chocolate those. folks. Yes. So I definitely want to go to Africa. Uh-huh. Where's the place you I, oh and I uh -huh. also want to visit six continents. Gotcha. So we haven't been to Africa yet. And we were gonna go this year, but we decided that we wanna experience that with the kids first. Yeah. Cool. And they I don't think they were ready this past year to do a uh no, it was like eleven hours. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> that Thailand trip that was seventeen hours. Nineteen. Nineteen. Yes. It was whew. I think a place I want to go is, uh, of course, Africa. Don't know which country yet. You know, we just met uh, a pilot friend of ours when we were in uh, South, Amer South America mm -hmm. in Colombia uh, last month. And he shared with us so many different places in Africa. Yeah. So we're going to, like, really check all of them out. What's going on, Terrence? He said Algeria was a good place. Yeah. Okay. If you could live in another country where, let me tell you all this. Every time we go somewhere, Sean is ready to move. <laughs> Every time I go to a new country, he's like, I can live here. Yeah, man, it's, it's so many cool places. I remember when I was in the military, I was stationed in Honduras. I used to do TDY in Honduras. And, uh, man, there's so many cool places there. But um, if I had to move outside of the country and live in another country, I'd probably go back to the Philippines. I was stationed out there for a little while, too. So I'd go back to Subic Bay and uh, Philippines. We're in Barbados now. By the end, by the time we go home, he'll be Oh, yeah, we're going to get a place here, too. <laughs> but you know what we do, seriously, though? Now, can I, I got to throw a little business in real quick. One thing when you travel as business owners, you're able to write a lot of stuff off uh, on your expenses. So this total trip will be tax deductible. But what we also do whenever we're traveling, I'm always, the two things I focus on when it relates to business. What's going on, Rodo? Rodolfo. That's Rodolfo. He's our concierge, our new friend in um, Cartagena, Cartagena uh, South America. But um, one of the things with that is that we always in, uh, check out banks. Whenever I travel, I check out banks and I also check out real estate. So those are the two things, guys. Real estate will be the key to your wealth. Okay, next question. Next question. 
name a time where you knew like God was real. I mean, not saying you didn't mm-hmm. know, you know, but there was a time I was like, look, I know there's God. A, a big aha moment. <laughs> I say the birth of my first child, Kennedy. Mm-hmm. Um, just knowing how the whole process works of nature. Mm-hmm. I, think, I think that was the biggest thing that really brought it home to me. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you had to, okay, I didn't answer, did I? Nope. Um, being pregnant, I mean, it's the same kind of thing. When you see like a little body can grow inside of you, and your body changes, and it's definitely a miracle. Mm-hmm. So I get a different aspect than you do. <laughs> <laughs> we get fat and ugly while y'all still chilling. Hey, it be that way sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> then we get the mama body. <laughs> okay, tell everybody what the mama body I just found out what the mama body was this morning. I so, heard it on TV. So tell everybody what the mama body is. They said. That's what they, they said. They, they said. They said. <laughs> the mama body is after you have a baby and you know how the baby fill out your hips and you know, you get a little. Basically, you get extra fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no! no! Terrence, how no, about are you pregnant? <laughs> Hey, bro, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a wrap in that department. We believe. Matter of fact, there was a little cute little baby uh, in the in the airport at the uh, restaurant we were eating at, and Terrence was making eye contact. The baby was just waving at her and everything. Hey, Karachi. And uh, I said, you want to have another baby? And she thought about it. She said, well, we're traveling there without babies, so absolutely not. So I, th- I think that's a wrap for us, uh, unless some divine, overcoming, yes. uh, compelling reason <laughs> tell us uh, to have another one. <laughs> hey, don't start in that room with you. Don't start that okay. one. Okay, so if you had hey, Jay. to go back to a job today, mm-hmm. what would you do? I'm torn between two things. You know, I'm, I'm extremely fascinated with aircraft, so it'll probably be something back with aircraft. But I like kids. You do now. Am I? I like my kids. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Like, you like your kids. But, uh, but, but seriously, though, you know, kids are the future and everything, and I got a really soft spot because I didn't like kids. Like, in my 20s, and I was like, man, I'm never having kids. All you guys out there that are single, in particular, you, a lot of y'all know what I mean. It's like, I don't want to have kids. I just want to kind of hang out, whatever. But I guess that goes back to the question, too, when you say, when you know there's a God. I knew I had sensitivity and extreme soft spots in my heart, uh, particularly when it comes to my kids. So a lot of kids may not have dads in their lives in particular, and I think dads are incredibly important in kids' lives. So I think probably, I might do something with kids. Cool. So if you could have a conversation with one person that has passed, who would it be and why? My I'm going to answer first. Okay. <laughs> you go ahead. It would be my grandmother because I never met her. Mm-hmm. And, like, my family says my mom is a lot like her. They look a lot alike. Mm-hmm. And then I look like my mom, but I just I want to meet her because I never got a chance to. She passed when my mom was eighteen, actually. Mm-hmm. So you know you stole my answer, right? <laughs> it 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 be my uh, maternal grandmother as well. Um, Hi, Jay. Uh, hey, but um, it it would be her. You know, I was really close to her growing up, and she passed. She was the first person to pass that was like, like really close to me, mm-hmm. um, and I guess that was. She's 11 years ago now, so it would be her. Uh, my paternal grandmother, the vivid memory I have of her, I was like two years old. I remember I was sitting on my mom's lap, and I remember she was on the porch, and that was uh, the extent of that. But uh, you said I can only pick one, so <laughs> I, I guess it would be that one. What is something that you wish you knew at 18 that you know now? I'm going to answer first. You get to ask, answer first on <laughs> all of them. Go ahead. <laughs> I wish I knew to oh, buy property oh, then. Yeah. If I knew it, I should at 18, I would have bought a multifamily unit. I would have had like my credit together. I was in the military. Like, I would have bought property. See, you, I'm asking the next one first because you're still in all my answers. How but, do I know you was going to say that? I guess that just means we're compatible like that. <laughs> but uh, I would say investing. Uh, investing at an earlier age, understanding money, economics, and so forth like that. So that would definitely have been it for me. Uh, we do okay now, but. If I only knew what I knew now back then. Yeah. And uh, how to know, how to leverage credit mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff. What else you got? If you can invent a holiday, what would it be and how <laughs> would people celebrate I'm answering first. I'm answering first. I'm going to let you Okay. First. I don't even know. What I, I, would. I would invent Entrepreneur Day. And you said, how would I celebrate it? How would, you, how would everybody how would I make, how would I make everybody have to celebrate mm-hmm. it? You got to go get a business. You got to go get a business license to start a business. <laughs> 
So that's how I would celebrate. What about when the day is over? What if they don't want the business anymore? Then sell it to me if it's profitable. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it work. <laughs> what is something that you feel like you're talented at? Uh, communicating and influencing. Mm -hmm. Who makes you laugh more than anyone else? My crazy kids. They definitely. I, I wanted to put a, a word in between crazy and kids. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying. But they, they, they keep me laughing. They are hilarious. What's your favorite thing to do when you're by yourself? Hey, Krista. Um, Let me go first. Okay. <laughs> you see, I yielded the floor to you, though. I think my favorite thing to do uh, when I'm by myself is to think. I'm a thinker. I like just to let my brain collate and correlate. I, my thing, if I, when I'm by myself, I like it quiet. Yes. Sean is so noisy. <laughs> How many like, of y'all like me? I like I, Tara's just in the house all day, completely quiet. And no all you TV. hear is like crickets. Me, when I come home, I need sound. I need the TV going. Even if I'm not watching, I just need right. a lot of sound around me for me to function properly. It's so annoying to me. I love it. And I have to go to sleep. <laughs> How many of y'all have to go to sleep to something like TV, radio, something like that? I, I have to go to sleep to the TV. Uh, but the cool thing is, I go to sleep like Fast. in, in yes. like two seconds. <laughs> That's the only good thing I, about that. I, I am gifted in that regard where I have a, a gift and a talent. I can fall asleep in less than 30 seconds. They have that party, babe. I know. We have to go party at 10. So. What's, what's going on now? We got to go eat, too. I'm hungry. I know. They gave us so many choices. They was like, it's a steakhouse, Italian, Indian, hibachi. Hibachi. I'm going to the hibachi. Uh, what was the cafe over by pool? Over there. I don't know. She says like cafe type food. Mm -hmm. It was another one though. Oh, the seafood by the beach. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're going to no eat dinner on the beach. Yeah, we're going there. <laughs> okay, what's your next question? What do you feel like children understand better than adults? I think children understand forgiveness better than adults. Mm -hmm. I say simplicity. Kids keep stuff simple. Adults sometimes to make stuff so complicated. Mm -hmm. How many more you got? Because I'm hungry. One more. You got a little cheat sheet over here. Stop looking. What is your idea of the perfect day? That's hey, the Aquila. last question. My idea of a, of a perfect day is knowing that business is profitable and I'm spending time with the family while it's happening. <laughs> so that my money is making money for me while I'm spending family time. Because time is more valuable than money. We can remanufacture money, but you can't remanufacture time. So, therefore, I want to be able to use my time wisely and effectively. Okay, let's go back What's out going here. What's going on, my king? I really like this pool. Okay. I mean, not pool, but... Um, We're going to flip the camera around so y'all can see tub. what we got. I'm getting in this tub tonight. That's, that's <laughs> the, the tub right here in the deck. And if I get enough courage, even though y'all know I can't swim, I'll, that's not too far of a drop. Um, you're not jumping. I enough. better not drop my phone, huh? <laughs> no, yeah, we got the little wild party folks out there. It smells good. No, that's just me. No, it smells like food. Oh, you smell food. <laughs> hey, Farrah, how you doing? Oh, we got to go to the bowling alley, too. There's a bowling alley here. I think all military people can bowl, like, extremely well. Yes, did you go to <laughs> the one on base? <laughs> yeah. And the hours always The MR, MR, what was it? MRW? M MWR. Yeah, MWR. The hours always had an A and W root beer in it. Oh ever, no, oh y'all was all. I had the best burgers. <laughs> y'all was boo. You was Navy and y'all had all that little fluff, fluff <laughs> stuff. Yep, so what are we going to do? Give a quick rundown. What's some of the stuff we're going to do? I know we're going to do the, the water jet pack thing, and y'all. Oh, let yeah. me switch the camera back around. Let's turn this way so they can see us. Okay. Yeah, so y'all know I cannot swim, but if it has something to do with an adventure and you may be able to die doing it, count me in. I'm all for it. What's going on, Thurston? Count you in and I probably planned it, right? Yeah, she planned it. I'll do it. But, you know, I got total faith in my Navy girl that she'll rescue me if I get to that point. But, uh, so we're going to do the, the, what do you call that stuff anyway? Water jet pack I, thingy? Some kind of jet pack. You know, when you put the pack on your thing, it oh, circulates water. I don't want mosquitoes. And then, um, you can tell them what happens. It'll, you fly, basically. <laughs> and then, it's so strange, I'm right handed. Okay. And, um, we're gonna do some snorkeling. Oh, I wanna do snorkeling, but this one is a little different because you get to snorkel with the turtles. Did they bite? The sea turtles. Well, the instructor, oh, person you're who talking goes all out. Well, I already know. <laughs> They're gonna feed the turtles to make them like come close. I don't need them that close. We good. Uh, hey Angela. 
And, so, um, oh, oh, tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh, we're getting the fish the fry fish tomorrow fry, night. Fish fry, yeah. Man, let me tell you guys, anytime you go to a Caribbean country, <laughs> usually on a Friday night somewhere, you always got to find out where the fish, fish fry is going yeah. down. I don't eat fish, fish but I'm going. Uh, <laughs> because we just have a lot of fun. It's where you just kind of waterside, typically, uh, right along the beach and just party 40. all night long. So we're off. looking forward to that. I, I got a question for you. Do you miss the kids? Not at all. Okay. Listen, I've been at home with the kids like every hey, day. You go out and do your business stuff. I'm with the kids 24-7 this summer. So, no, I don't miss them. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> I'll probably miss them when we get back. <laughs> but, uh, so, what else are we going to do? We're going to... Um, Fish fry, jet pack, snorkeling. That's not mm. enough? I mean... No. We'll probably do some... Probably try some four-wheeling. Some, uh, four oh, the, uh, the, the, the monkeys. They said they got like a little safari thing where you can go play with the monkeys and all that kind of stuff. So, meanwhile, guys, I think it is time for us to go eat. Sean's trying to find Rihanna, y'all. Yeah, and, and you know what? Oh, the funny thing about it, uh, our driver just told us, too. He said that she comes the last Monday of every August, and that was originally no, or the July. First, either no, the last Monday of every July. Yeah. That she comes here and do a big celebration because that's where she's from here, and um, mm -hmm. that was actually the weekend we were supposed to be here. But Kennedy School is starting back like super early. She's going back to school in July, July, July the 29th. Mm -hmm. Hey Tiffany, how you doing? Latoya, how you doing? But uh, so we, we're really excited about that. Um, but we, we're, we're just going to have a lot of fun. Of course, we'll go live with you guys a lot to share our experience. And that's one of the things we like to do. You know, it's never to try to impress you, but just impress upon you that if you have vision, you have goals in life, and just see life for more than just being in a 9 to 5 rat race, if you will. You know what I'm saying? So, um, we love you guys. We appreciate y'all for supporting us, loving on us, loving on the kids. And just supporting our vision and anything we can do to help inspire you, help drive you, help you in your business. Uh, just definitely let us know. Hey, Calicia. So just uh, definitely let us know how we can help and assist. And uh, again, for those winners that we uh, named earlier, shoot me an inbox with your email and I'll get that book downloaded to you immediately. So yes. anything you want to say as we close out, Levy? Um, we're about to get dressed. I got to get I thought you were about to say we're about to get drunk. Dressed so we can <laughs> eat. I got to get cute. I gotta do my ponytail. Sean saw me with my hair in my bag. He was like, "Oh, you brought the girlfriend, huh?" Uh huh. <laughs> so when I changed my hair, he like he thinks it's, it's a whole movie. different person. <laughs> hey, Letitia. Letitia is one of our winners uh, for us being here in Barbados. Well, I'm not changing. I'm here, and here, here's nothing, y'all. They gotta put on some beach clothes. I'm always branding wherever I go. It's all about the brand. They gotta put on some beach clothes. Hey, Lashawn. Hey, I'm gonna see LaShawn next weekend. We're gonna be sharing the stage in Atlanta as the speakers. List tour. That's right. Hey Linda. Hey Camille, how you doing? Yeah, so anything else you wanna say before we close <laughs> out? Nope, I'm ready to see Barbados. Like we here, babe. It's hot too. It is hot. <laughs> it is very hot. They remember on the airplane they were like, and the breeze is coming. I don't want to feel the breeze. <laughs> I feel a hot breeze. <laughs> and the breeze is coming from the east. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, we will probably holler at you guys tomorrow and go on live sometime tomorrow and share some photos. Hey, Christine. Definitely from the fish fry. All right. Well, good night, everybody. And we will talk to you guys soon. This has been another episode of Harris Family TV. Hey, Kia.